been a topsy-turvy month so far. We saw the very high temperatures across southern areas at the beginning of the month and more recently we've had strong winds and rain across northern areas last weekend which caused some disruption to outdoor activities such as the open golf. So forecasting in summer can be pretty tricky, particularly as there's a lot going on, people on holiday, a lot of outdoor events, but the weather can be very subtle too. An example is shown over the next few days actually. And on this satellite picture here, uh, I've got a picture of the, uh, the North Atlantic this morning. And what you can see is that there's a low pressure system just to the northwest of the UK. That's bringing strong winds eventually to northern areas uh, later today and tomorrow. But also it's feeding bands of showers eastwards across the UK generally today and then again across northern areas tomorrow. That's the easy bit of the forecast. What becomes much trickier is what we, uh, uh, when we look at this uh, next low pressure system developing down to the uh, southwest here. And this is due to track eastwards and northwards towards southern parts um, on uh, Thursday evening uh, and during Friday. And what's very uncertain is to how far north the cloud and the rain associated with that system will get. Now if I shift to a view of our computer models, what you can see here is the developing low pressure system this morning down to the southwest. And if I move through to tonight and tomorrow morning, you can see that it's starting to approach uh, southwestern areas during the day tomorrow. And then tomorrow night, it starts to move in across the southwest properly. And then by the time we get to midday on Friday, we've got rain and very cool conditions and some fairly breezy conditions, especially later on in the day, uh, across much of the southern half of the UK. What makes this very uncertain is that a lot of the other uh, computer models are treating this system in a subtly different way, which holds the rain further south and results in quite a bit of a drier day, a warmer day and a brighter day for Wales and the Midlands in particular. At the moment it's finely balanced, uh, but I would urge people to keep in touch with the forecast over the coming days as it may change as we get more details on how this system is likely to develop.